Hello. A common front-end problem you need to solve when building different Ruby on Rails applications is uh, highlighting the link to the current active page. For example, here I'm on the Super Rails website, I've got the post page open, and it has been highlighted. If I go to tags, you see tags are highlighted instead. So similar behaviors are present on other Rails applications. For example, if you go to Ruby Video, where you can have an aggregate of different Ruby on Rails conference talks from different years, you see I have talks highlighted. If I go to speakers, speakers are being highlighted instead. If we go and have a look at the source code, we have this uh, link helper where there is this HTML to check uh, if the current page equals some path. And if uh, the path uh, matches, then, uh, well, the link is highlighted as active. Similar behavior is also present on Rails Dev's website where you can uh, uh, list your Ruby on Rails developer profile and potential employers can uh, find you. So you see they're on the developers page and it has been highlighted. I go to affiliate program page and it has been highlighted instead. If you have a look at their source code, then uh, the approach is slightly different. Here you see they have a helper named link to active. And if we open this link to active helper, uh, here it is. So uh, they basically used instead of link to and they uh, add some kind of uh, active class to the links. So uh, let's see if this method would work in our Ruby on Rails application. I will just copy it and here I am. I've got a basic new Ruby on Rails application where I just have a bunch of different static pages. So uh, here are the, are the links to the static pages and I'm going to try to use this uh, helper from Rails devs. So I will add it to our helpers, for example, static pages helper. And uh, let's see if it works. I'm going to replace one of the link tools with link to active. And uh, okay, it gives some kind of type error. So uh, cannot convert nil into string. Maybe we need to have some kind of uh, class or something present uh, for it to work. Okay, uh, maybe we will just add uh, active if uh, it, if the current page matches the options. And uh, let's see if it works. I will inspect the element. It has the class active. Uh, I go to about page and does landing page still have the class active? No, it does not. Okay, so this code seemed to have worked. Let's see if it will also work uh, for a block. And importantly, let's actually display some kind of different CSS uh, if this is the current page. So I have this application CSS. I'm going to uncomment these lines. So text decoration none is going to remove this underline and uh, visited color inherit will uh, remove this uh, freakish uh, pink uh, or purple color from the links. And active is going to be our active class. We're going to make the link to the current page bold. So let's uh, refresh. And you see the link to the current page is bold. I go to another page and they're not bold because they're not using link to active. Let's now try using link to active for the about page. I refresh to get some kind of error. Uh, undefined plus funnel class. So let's, I know, add uh, a class here. And uh, you see it works for landing page and about. Let's try changing the about page to be a block. So I will say link to active uh, class empty do. Uh, let's make some kind of different random class like class uh, hello to see if uh, there is some kind of class. And uh, yeah, you see, I go to about page and uh, it only has class hello. It does not have uh, the class active. Uh, why does it not? Let's uh, try to debug this uh, method. So I will put a debugger here. Uh, and refresh the page. And let's have a look. So we have name, landing page, options, static pages, landing page. So it is the kind of URL. Uh, let's uh, click next or continue. Uh, name okay let's make it continue okay name is static pages amount so you see here we have the name that is actually the link to and here we have the first argument of this uh, block so you see the name of this link and the name of this link are 
different and uh, it doesn't correctly calculate the current page you see current page options to s is false uh, and what does options to s equal here it's just the class hello it's not the actual path to the page so this uh, link to active uh, that we found on rails devs doesn't seem to be working correctly for blocks maybe this could actually be an interesting thing that we can contribute to rails devs on our own so how can we rewrite this kind of method for it to work correctly with blocks and with inline links uh, too and importantly what else can we do without uh, uh, even writing a helper let's start with something simple so uh, first of all if we don't want to have uh, any kind of uh, uh, special helper for uh, highlighting link to active page let's uh, uh, remove link to active completely and uh, instead we will uh, just write some kind of inline css let's say a uh, class will be uh, active if current page equals uh, this path so uh, you see i go to landing page and it is active and we could copy the same kind of uh, class uh, to other places so for example for static pages about path i'm just going to copy it here and you see now the about is uh, active but again this isn't a scalable approach and we have a lot of logic uh, in our html and we don't want to have this logic in our html so this is again a reason why we would like to have these kind of helpers to help us so let's uh, comment this out and try to write our own uh, uh, active link to helper that would work with both uh, inline links and uh, blocks and we wouldn't need to write inline css and uh, well this method uh, didn't prove to work well with blocks so let's say def uh, uh, active link to and what can we pass we can pass uh, uh, so some text here we can pass some text we can pass a path and different options and we can also pass a block so let's say text equals nil uh, path equals nil then we can pass different options and we can pass a block and uh, let's say so if there is a block so if block given we're going to pass the link to uh, link to what link to uh, the text we're just going to have the text uh, options and we're going to pass the block and if there is no uh, block given so else we will have link to text path uh, options let's see if uh, this works right now now my expectation is that it just shouldn't break the current code so uh, I will put it here and here I will remove these uh, classes and uh, yeah it's not breaking the current code so that's already some achievement now we are going to have to check if the current page equals uh, some kind of path but the path is going to be differently uh, set for each of the links let's see uh, we will put a debugger here and uh, see what we get let's uh, refresh once again and let's have a look at our text so the text for the first link is landing page then we have path uh static page is landing page and let's see if a block is given uh, so a block is not given and let's click continue And let's see so text is static pages about you see previously text was landing page and path is not present so you see we have to dynamically set the current page path checker based on whether the block is given so uh, i will go and say uh, link equals uh, if block is given we will say link equals the text otherwise the link will be equal to path and uh, now we can uh, set the classes so i will say options uh, class equals 
uh, it will equal to itself plus our additional active class if the current page matches uh, this uh, dynamically set link. So it will equal to class names, options class, and uh, active if current page equals link. Now let's remove the debugger and see if this works. So, uh, yeah, I forgot a question mark here for this inline if else statement. And uh, let's see if it works. So, landing page, about, and yeah, it seems to be working. So, uh, yeah, looks fine. Basically, uh, with writing this code, we don't need this code anymore. And here we dynamically check the link. So, uh, uh, it works for both inline. Uh, link to and for blocks so uh, looks good now let's additionally maybe try adding some tests to this method uh, well while working with a real Ruby on Rails application in a team most likely you will have to write tests for your code to be approved so uh, I'll go to write tests I'm going to test helpers and uh, I'm going to add a new helper it will be static pages helper test.rb and here class uh, static pages helper test that inherits from action uh, view test case and let's uh, try just running rails test and see if anything is breaking at the moment well there are no real tests in our application so there is nothing to break so let's uh, add a test um, test and we're going to test the active link to and uh, we're going to check uh, if the active link to uh, has active based on the current page so uh, yeah I'm going to add a block here and uh, I'm going to say assert equal uh, active link to uh, will have some kind of uh, home or like pricing we will have some path like static pages pricing path. Uh, we're going to check if this uh, uh, equals to link to with the, the class active. So these two should uh, match. Let's see if they match now. I'll say Rails test. No, they did not uh, match. Uh, you see, uh, they did not match. So we're going to actually manually say that the current page equals link, and then they should kind of match. So I will say uh, def current page uh, link true. Let's see if they match now. Yes, so now they do. So if uh, the current page matches the link, then they are going to match. And the same way we can uh, uh, write a test for them not to equal if uh, uh, they are not looking at the current page. So I will say false and uh, it should equal to link to without the class active. And yes, it matches. So everything looks perfect. And now all we have to do is add active link to, to all our other links. And uh, it should be just working. So this is the way you can uh, apply some kind of active class to uh, the current page in your application. So that's it. Thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.